It seems like just a couple of days ago or a week ago, people were screaming the Dolphins didn't beat anybody. And we're in a terrible situation. It's all over. Hope is lost. And then you see the slate of losses uh, this week from AFC teams, AFC East teams. And the Dolphins are in the best position uh, technically than they have been in 20 years, but then also within the other teams they have to place. They're fourth in the conference. I think it's a uh, 94% chance to make the playoffs, 88% chance to host at least one home game. Now, anything can happen from here to there. I hear people talking, we got an easy next five games. These next five games, and then the three after that, is going to be eight weeks of Body blows from tough teams, guys. Nothing is guaranteed. And then we had Dorsey getting the uh, beep can over in, in Buffalo territory, which is great for the Bills. It, well, it could be. It's great because he sucked. And you could replace him with a corpse, and you'd probably get an improvement. Uh, but if this guy Brady is good, you could see this Bills team find their way back. You heard it here first when it happens. I, I hear the talk, it's all over. It's no, 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 no. I watch every game because I cover them. Because I, I cover, I watch every game from the AFC East. I don't care what team you are because you got to know your enemies. This Bills team, if they do what I said they should have done three years ago, they're going to be tough again. Uh, but the Dolphins have a game and a half lead right now. And then they've got the Week 18 matchup at home. And the Jets, I don't know, they're saying Rodgers is coming back. Uh Pats are dead, you know. Uh, Jets, I don't even know if they can, even if, if Rodgers comes back. So the Dolphins are in a phenomenal, phenomenal position. You had the Ravens lose, the Bengals lose, the Jags lose, the Jets lose. And honestly, I wish the Bills won last night because I wanted them to keep Dorsey because Dorsey is disaster. I said in my other podcast, think about Joe Philbin and Adam Gaze had a love child. That is Ken Dorsey. And I want him to be the Bills OC as long as possible. Uh, I think this could be trouble. All right. So we are here in a phenomenal situation. Nothing's guaranteed. And it's starting with the Raiders. Now, uh, I'm going to get into a couple of things. I want to cover uh, this position that we're in. The Raiders game coming up. Hunt. Mm, looks like he's likely to be out this week and maybe next week if the tea leaves are pointing the way I think. Uh, but on a good note, Lamb is cross-training at guard. So those are things I want to cover, but I want you to take a look at this. Man, this is uh, tweets by Sneaky Joe. Look, you see the pine tar on the back of the Broncos kick his hand. Oh, man, something's got to be done, but that's illegal in the NFL. Wow, man, that's uh, a big deal. I, you know, but it was, you know, basically uh, uh, push it forward here because you just don't want this stuff. Obviously, it makes it easy. You go up into Buffalo, you got some wind, maybe a greasy ball. You put some pine tar in your hand, it's easy to catch. Remember the old Lester Hayes thing? <laughs> it was Lester Hayes with the football. So much pine tar stuck to his hand back in the old days. That was funny. Uh, so, and then last, before I get into everything else, you see Omar Kelly here, four offensive linemen and three of them who played center told me the snap was good enough. Uh, the snap that ended the game last time would have been perfect for a right-handed quarterback. Stop making excuses for quarterbacks falling short. But I want to add to that that I didn't add my little video, my short video that I made is, if you watch Connor, every single snap, almost invariably, if he goes to the right, it goes to the right. It, it, it goes right. If he goes to the left, it goes to the left. Tua had to know that. It, it's critical to understand your personnel as a leader. We see how Dorsey didn't get it and, and screwed things up. Tua's got to know that this play is going to the right and that ball is going to go wide right. I can't even start my motion to the left until I snag that ball because it's probably going to go to the right. So, all the things I did in my little short video on it and what you saw from Kelly and what I'm just telling you now, it was to his fault. But who cares? Look what look what Allen did. He lost the game. Uh, uh, Mahomes has lost games. Hurts has lost games. All these top quarterbacks have lost games. But two is getting tagged for some reason because he did it. Every other one of these top quarterbacks has done it. So whatever. We're still in the best position. He has a chance to do whatever he, he needs to do to make that image stop. 
So let's move forward. Uh, oh, last thing. Friday, I'm going to be back to my uh, lives, Friday night at 10 p.m. I'm going to be over at Jedi Sports Network on Saturday at 6 p.m. Join me in both spots. And don't forget, like, subscribe, comment. And if you have subscribed, hit the notification bell. And I want to add that. Again, the comments. The comments mean the world to me. I've been under the weather, so I'm, I'm getting back to them. But I love the comments. I always learn from the comments. All right, here we go. This is it. This is the final exam. I said that. It was my first PC back for my little mini break. Uh, we're in the high point talent season. McDaniel, Tua, and Co. have a two-game, game and a half lead in the AFC East. They have a fourth place in the division. They have five manageable games. And then they have the final battle against the defending AFC East champions in their house. This does not get any better. I mean, it can if you're like the old 49ers where you, you know, you could go 15-1 or whatever. But you know what I mean. This is like as good as it's going to get. This is on a silver platter. And this team needs to deliver. McDaniel needs to deliver because it ain't going to get easier. If he can't deliver, if Tua can't deliver, and this team can't deliver this year, it does not bode well for the future. But I do believe this team has what it takes and it's getting the pieces back and it can, along with obviously Fangio and the defense continuing to improve, to do what it needs to do and get to at least the conference championship. But we've got to hold on to that. This is a fun thing. I don't want to hear if we don't pull it out. If something doesn't go right this year, I don't want to hear, well, we'll get a mix here. No, this is it. This is the final exam, and I do believe we have the opportunity. Now, it's going to start with the Raiders, and people are going to blow them out 31-17. Maybe, but it's about matchups. Does anybody even, like, investigate, like, how this all came about? Like, how the Raiders are 5-5, five and five, how we lost? If you go look, the Raiders were beaten by three teams that are kind of comps to us on offense at least. Uh, the Bolts, uh, the Lions, and the Bills. They, they were beat by them. But Detroit put up 220 yards on the ground. The Bolts, the Bolts put 140 on the ground. And the Bills put 200 on the ground. This team is playing serious business for uh, Pierce. They are a good team. They present matchup uh, uh, advantages to us, but also disadvantages. And we're going to have to be on our game. And if you poo-poo the Raiders, then you're going to poo-poo the, 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 the kudos we should get for beating this team. This is a dangerous team. And if we beat them, the Dolphins deserve a round of applause. But it's going to take McDaniel running this football. Now, the great news with the Dolphins that some of these other teams don't have, we don't necessarily have to get the high run production. If you go back and you, you could see it's the number of runs. When we create that balance, it forces them to get up there to the line of scrimmage, and then we can pop the big plays and get the points. But we have to either run effectively and run in numbers, or better yet, both, like we did against the Giants and the Broncos and uh, the Panthers. And so, will A-Chan be back? Hunt is a big piece to that. Teron's a big piece. He's a good zone stretch, uh, slide mover, move blocker, but he's not a drive blocker. And whether you get Lamb, which I'll get into in a second, or you got uh, uh, Eichenberg or Cotton at left guard, they're not really good blockers. Connor is... Suffers from a little bit from power. And again, we got Cotton over there, Eichenberg, whoever to put in the right tackle, not so good. And Jackson is not good. So we've, we, we can make that hay on the zone stretch. If you've watched the games, they've done, the, the, these teams, Detroit, Bolts, and Bills, did some nice damage on the zone stretch. And I do like, if, if Lamb can get in there at the left guard, I don't know if he can get in this week, but even with Jackson and uh, Cotton and, uh, Connor, and I'm not sure about Eichenberg, though, and Teron, we can get that zone stretch, and Mostert could break his play, he break his tackles and make some plays, but then A-Chan can get into some space and pop it, and a couple of those could be enough, but it's going to come down to the run game, but this won't be easy. I think it's going to be a slugfest through most of the game, 
probably break it open at the end, hopefully, if we're doing the right stuff. But I don't think this is going to be out of the gates, us blowing them out, because they've got a quality. They've got Graham that we used to have, and he's gotten a lot better over the years as defensive coordinator. And they've got a talented secondary, talented linebacker, and Max Crosby can get on you quick, and it's going to be key to see how Jackson can handle it. They're going to put somebody over on Tehran to occupy him, and they're going to isolate Jackson, and this is Jackson's chance to show that he's proving me wrong, and he's proving all the people supporting him right. It's going to be a big game for him. So anyway, uh, before I get into the rest, uh, it doesn't go down without my sponsors. Uh, I, I, I have to give them the shout-out, but I also have to give you a shout-out because without you, without them, this show ain't going down. Ace Per Head's betting software is the premier white-label platform for bookies to manage their players and grow their sportsbook operation. Click the link in the description below to get set up in minutes. Ask for the Curtis promo and get a special introductory discount. All right, so I did a little thing yesterday or a day before. Uh, Hunt's likely going to be uh, week to week. He's week to week. So week to week means he's not playing this week. Uh, Lamb is getting cross-changed. I'll get into that in a minute. I like it to a certain extent, especially if Hunt's in there. If Hunt's in there, I really do like it. Uh, but... We're going to go in a little thin. Eichenberg is likely going to have to play some part in this game. And this defense is going to get that time to throw up there. And it's going to force this offensive line to play. Thankfully, Tehran's there and Khan is there. Uh, so it, that is good news. But if he's if Hunt's not in against that Jets, against a short week with two physical Teams that close together and us without Hunt, our most physical offensive lineman, it's going to be tough. And I do believe the Bills are going to get on their game. They got a very tough schedule and they're going to have to be A plus in order to make hay. But that Jets game could be very, very dangerous if Hunt's not in. Gotta hope he's going to be there. I don't think he's going to be there this week. But the eventual layout of Tehran, Lamb, Connor, Hunt, and Jackson could be very, very good. And this is why. Lamb is a good zone stretch guy. So you would have Tehran, who could drive block decently. My man, Tehran could do anything. But he's much better at the zone stretch. But you'd have two guys that are good at zone stretch with Connor who can get to that second level. He could double and then peel off. That's great. But then you got on the back side, you could do that counter action or, or straight uh, attack action with Connor and Hunt. And Lamb can do enough. Lamb is better than Wynn. Lamb is better than Eichenberg. He's about the same as Cotton, I'd say, to get that inside zone running. And if you can get teams biting inside and then by getting the outside action plus this pass game, we can get to our final form. Uh, Lamb has never, ever played uh, left guard. Mu oh, I shouldn't say never. Played. He's played had one snap, I think, I saw in the NFL. Uh, but I don't think this whole moving to position position for some players is that big a deal. I think the guy could do it. I think he's going to be a bonus for us. I thought he should have came for Jackson, but people like Jackson. Jackson hasn't done terrible, so I understand. But you've got to fill this left guard spot. Jones has some problems. He's got two knee injuries, and that could really mess him up as far as getting on the field. And then, obviously, you don't want Eichenberg there. Uh, and then Cotton, I mean, Cotton, not bad to fill in there, I guess, over Hunt. He could kind of do some stuff, but he struggles in the pass game. Uh, so this is good news, but this last eight games will be determined by the run game and the offensive line. It will grow higher and higher, to be the piece of the puzzle that gets us over the top or holds us back. You can mark my words and bet on it. These defenses, these teams are going to force that to happen. But we do have the capacity to do it. And that's the great news. All right, guys, be very excited. You're in it. You're really in it. It's not, don't listen to the media. They're all, they suck for the most part. They don't know jack. All they want to do is hype you up and get you emotional. This team's in it. Not guaranteed, but we are in it with an advantage, and we'll know everything by season's end, what this team is really about. And that's a great thing. No more next year. We'll know. We'll know. We'll either know because we go really far, or we'll know because we crap out. 
And at least it's better to know than to keep on guessing. Curtis saying, catch you next time. Be well. Go Fins. Start building your own online sports book today by getting signed up with acebread.com service that allow you to book action on sports from all around the world.